morning to all of you uh, let's uh, start with the good morning sir next content of our fifth unit <clears throat> so today we will discuss about the different sensors uh, being uh, uh, available for the utilize <clears throat> for utilization in case of the robotics uh, for the robot and these are the various sensor which are being available for other different uses also so we'll try to discuss the other uses also and uh, uses related with the robot also uh, regarding the uh, dif different kind of sensors so sensor all of you must be knowing these are the kind of devices okay which are being used for the purpose of sensing in the sense uh, what you can say to measure the some physical properties of the environment now in case of the environment there are the various physical properties are used there like uh, temperature pressure luminance or the light touch resistance weight size etc etc so as a human being we can easily uh, uh, measure this kind of things uh, physical properties of the environment because by nature we have all this kind of capability but in case of the robots uh, we have to uh, put all these capabilities inside the robot through this kind of devices like the sensors okay and within a sensors also there is a one most important component used to be there which is being referred as a transducer okay and that uh, transducer is for the purpose of uh, converting the one type of energy into the other so uh, our mic okay mic is also having the transducer present inside that as well as all of you are using the microphones so microphones are also having the transducer inside that microphone here i have mentioned so what actually that transducer does so it used to transfer or convert here here general thing i have mentioned transducer used to convert the one type of energy to the another so what kind of energy one kind of energy in the sense acoustic energy into the electrical impulses acoustic in acoustic energy in the sense do the human being release the acoustic energy okay in the physics you must have studied what do you mean by the acoustic energy yes here i have mentioned the microphone is also the transducer that convert the acoustic energy into the electric impulses okay when we speak <clears throat> when we speak one kind of energy is get released okay so that is related with the sound and so acoustic energy is nothing but the related with the sound okay so when we speak that uh, acoustic uh, energy we release it has to be <clears throat> converted into the other form so that it, so that it can be hear by somebody else understood so this kind of uh, transducer bung being utilized inside the sensors different kind of sensors okay understood the point uh, understood this transducer what exactly it is yes yes sir so whatever the uh, the uh, mic we use in the programs or microphone that you are using which is also having the this kind of transducers used to be there and uh, different kind of transducer being utilized to convert the one form of energy into the another and so this kind of transducer used to be there in the different kind of sensors okay so why we are using the sensors in case of the robotics so main reason band that is nothing but to estimate or to know the <clears throat> what is the actual condition of the robot what is the situation of the robot as well as with the help of the sensor we can know the what is the situation or condition of the environment so utilizing the sensor we can convey the information to the robot about the environment and utilizing the sensor also we can uh, perform some action uh, through the robot within a 
environmental so so that is the reason it is very useful sensors instead of the robotics so here i have mentioned the robotic sensor are used to estimate the robot condition and the environment so these signals are passed to the controller to enable the appropriate behavior so when through the sensor uh, through the sensor sensor take the information from the environment and that information is passed to the controller of the robot and utilizing that information which is passed to the robot through the sensor the robot uh, perform its behavior or the particular activity okay so uh, in short we can say the sensors in case of the robots are just like performing the function like the human sensor organs just like the humans are having the different sensory organs like eyes uh, ears nose this kind of sensory organs so for the robots we need to utilize this kind of different sensors okay so uh, uh, in here here i have mentioned the robot requires the extensive information about their environment in order to function effectively so main uh, thing um, if you want our robot to be perform uh, very well according to the expectation of the user then for that the very uh, what we can say the information that need to be passed to the robot also need to be the uh, extensive correct okay large amount of information need to be passed to the robot and for that purpose the uh, <coughs> sensors help can be taken and sensors are being utilized so likewise there are the different kind of uh, sensors are available like uh, sensors are available related with the to know uh, about whether the some object is present or not regarding that there are the simple touch sensors are available in the market then complex touch sensors are available so simple touch sensor can just give you the idea whether object is present or absent but complex touch sensor can give you the idea about the size shape and the hardness of the object also then simple force sensors are there uh, which can measure measure the force along the single axis as well as we have the complex force uh, uh, sensors which can measure the force along the uh, now this is this is not the single this is a multiple okay here you have you must have the multiple axis okay multiple axis so complex force sensor can measure the force along the multiple axis multiple axis in the sense what uh, if you uh, if you want to know the difference between this simple force and the complex force now suppose this is the this is the uh this is the table okay and if you are if you are trying to move this table with single hand if you are trying to move this table with the single hand then this this being considered as a force along the single axis for example but if you try to move this table with more than one hand by more than one people from different uh, from different direction then this is considered as a complex force so measuring the force along the multiple axis okay get, got the difference between the simple force and the complex force yes yes then likewise we have the simple vision sensors are also there simple vision sensors are also there which are being for the purpose of uh, uh, detecting the edges holes corners of different kind of objects then we have the object proximity sensors which is being uh, for the purpose of uh, detecting the presence or absence of the object color of the object distance between the object that can be determined with the help of this object proximity sensors then we have the sensors related to the chemicals also which gives idea about the presence or absence of the chemicals identity of the chemicals uh, strength of the chemicals like the concentration of the chemicals etc etc related with the light also related with the determination of presence of the light we have the light sensor uh, in, which can also give you the idea about the frequency of the light intensity of the light etc etc 
similar to the light we'll, uh, we also have the different kind of sound sensor which can give idea about the presence of the sound frequency and the intensity of the sound so these are the these are the general kind of uh, sensors which are being available okay just uh, overview we have just discussed regarding that now likewise there are the different four to five important sensors are being utilized in case of the robots okay and which are being utilized in the different uh, in the different situation of our life also uh, in the home also in the cars also in the aircraft also in the ships also okay uh, so same kind of uh, sensors are being also utilized in case of the robots also but their functionality is slightly different according to the functionality of the robot so one of that is the contact sensor okay so this is the considered one of the most important uh, sensor in in the field of the robotics now for the purpose of contact sensor to be get activate or uh, for the purpose of contact sensor to be get trigger it is required that uh, it is required that some some uh, physical contact should happen with that particular object then the contact sensor get trigger if you want to see the, if you are if uh, if you want the example uh, now our home or uh, home home bell is used to there aple gharam madhe bell aste baka barobar yes our home used to be a yes, bell when you press the button when you press the button then that bell automatically start ringing correct so that kind of thing yes, also sir. comes under the category of the contact sensor means until you don't touch that particular object uh, that contact sensor will no, never get trigger and that is the reason i have here i have mentioned there is a need of the physical contact regarding the other objects to trigger some kind of event so as soon as you touch with that button switch etc then certain uh, uh, sound we can hear or ringing can be start so there are the different kind of uh, contact sensor are there like there is a touch contact sensor push button switch etc etc okay so within the contact sensors also uh, within the contact sensors also there are the two types of contact sensor like there is a bumper contact sensor and the tactile contact sensor okay now if you want to uh, see the another most popular utilization of contact sensor these are being utilized in the cars can anybody tell me how the contact sensors are being utilized in the car yes yes how the contact sensor being utilized in the cars i told you what exactly is the contact sensor when the contact sensor get activated until the object will get uh, will uh, until the object uh, when there is a certain contact with the object the contact sensor get activate okay and its result can be a ringing of sound its result can be a taking the turn its result can be a reversing its result can be a switching on the led light etc etc anything so in the cars you must have also <clears throat> uh seen the utilization of the contact sensor ki if your car is having the contact sensor if somebody unknown person if somebody unknown person touches your car touch your car or if any animal will should also will try to touch or contact with your car automatically uh, one siren uh, sound start have you seen this kind of uh, experience yes sir barobar ki kuni tari car cha jawal ki he tumhi two wheeler chala sudha apan he this kind of contact sensor can be get fitted so as soon as somebody uh, touch with your car they automatically the ringing sound start there so that its its use can be a, uh, it can protect your car or the vehicle from the theft also is it right yes or no yes sir so this kind of contact sensor we can fit to the your home uh, home door also so that if somebody try to open your door okay if you are outside the home and if somebody try to open door of your home then your neighbors can be get awake 
by this kind of sound am i right yes sir so there are the various kind of contact sensor used to be there in the market okay so it, there are the two types like the bumper and the tactile sensor so uh, there is a exact difference between there between these two sensor so bumper these are the contact sensor which are used to determine or detect whether they are touching anything the result of this is yes or no so bumper sensor just give you the idea what idea is the touching happening or not it just detect what whether they are touching some object or not only that kind of idea in the form of the yes or no it is given by the bumper contact sensor so bumper contact sensor can't give you the information about the intensity of hardness of the contact manje kay ki if suppose if if the car is if the car is stucking with this particular wall if there is a car stucking with this particular wall then how how hard it is how hard it is touching this wall then that hardness is not that result of the hardness how hard it is touching that wall is not given by the bumper sensor bumper sensor will give you the idea about what it is touching understood mag kiti zorane tyachi car chi dhadak tya bintila hot hai that idea will not be given by the bumper sensor that idea will be given by whom tactile sensor so here i have mentioned tactile sensor this can give the information about the intensity of hardness of contact as well as exact direction and relative movement of the contact also okay what is, so tell me what is the difference between the bumper sensor and the tactile sensor yes what is the difference yes what is the difference what the bumper contact sensor gives you how it function bumper contact sensor what information it gives Yes, can you hear me? Yes, sir. So, what information bumper contact sensor gives? Use information about touching anything. Touch some. If touching is happening or not, that information only given by the bumper contact and tactile contact sensors. intensity of hardness ki jar touch hota hai tar tya touching se intensity ka hai how hard it is touching to something understood and exact direction movement etc this kind of information is given by the tactile sensor so basically <clears throat> the use of this kind of sensors in case of the robot is for the purpose of obstacle avoidance uh, uh, for the purpose of obstacle avoidance uh, the contact sensors are utilized in case of the robots okay and when there is a, when they hit an obstacle it trigger the robot to perform the task okay when touching is happen then that touching activate the robot to perform some particular task now task can be anything so driverless car to the driverless car also we can call it as a one kind of machine robotic machine yes or no yes sir so so in the driverless car this kind of sensors are very much useful okay when there is a touching when the car get touch with something or uh, in case of the parking sensors also uh, this kind of contact sensor can be a very useful so you must have observed the parking sensors in the cars also as soon as our car reaches to uh, as soon as our car is going to be touched to the some something automatically is uh, in our car sound start ringing some siren ringing start so in the automatic uh, in case of the driverless car 
reversing operation can happen automatically if car you if if car is about to touch something turning can also be possible uh, turning information can also be possible if there of the contact sensor when the when the robot hit to some obstacle or the object at uh, or about to hit then switching of the led or stopping of the car these kind of things can be possible with the help of the contact sensors and when they get activate when the particular object get hit with the certain things uh, we object get hit with that particular sensors okay so that is the one kind of sensor which is being mostly utilized in case of the robotics and the robot now mostly another most popular is the inertial sensors okay what inertial sensors now these inertial sensors are based on the laws of the inertia that you must have studied in the physics also now what these inertial sensor and what this uh, actually how actually it works okay so here i have mentioned if the inertial sensors are based on the laws of the inertia where object continue in its existing state unless and until state of the object is changed by some external force now everybody of you are having the inertial sensor with you at this current moment what i am saying everybody of you are having the inertial sensor with you right now okay because every smartphones are nowadays comes with the inertial sensors what every smartphone comes along with the inertial sensor now in case of your smartphone you must have observed okay you must have observed when you are watching some video on the smartphone okay in vertical direction as soon as you move your smartphone in horizontal direction like this your video resolution change automatically and you can see the full screen video yes or no yes sir okay and so the main reason behind that is nothing but the inertial sensor which are present in the smartphone and the definition says the sum say uh, definition uh, saying is the same thing that i am telling you inertial sensor are based on the laws of the inertia where the object continue in its existing state the mo i am telling you the example of mobile as a object continue its existing state unless and until the state of the object is changed by some external force so this vertical mobile phone as soon as you move that vertical mobile phone onto the horizontal then we are applying the some external force here is it like that yes or no yes when you are yes, mobile, you are moving it as a horizontal way this is nothing but the applying applying some external force correct or not yes yes sir so same thing i have mentioned the inertial sensor are based on the laws of the inertia where object continue its existing state until the state of the object is changed by some external force and this is being also part of uh, what you can say uh, when you when you ask your mobile uh, for the purpose of some navigation purpose okay when you are uh, when you are utilize the mobile uh for the purpose of some when you set the mobile to uh, go to the particular location okay when you utilize the gps so when you utilize the gps there is a utilization of the inertial sensor in case of our mobile because the, the this from this example what we what we can conclude these sensors are basically used to detect and reflect the change in the motion of the object when you are mobile is this direct in this vertical way you change it is in this way it you are change the there is a change in the motion of the object and that change is detected by with the help of which sensors inertial sensors getting the point yes sir so that is the in conclusion i have mentioned these sensors are basically used to detect and reflect the change in the motion of the object 
so when you say when you utilize the gps gps uh, uh, when you utilize the gps uh, to reach to some location automatically it goes on showing you the direction okay yes or no automatically is go it shows you the uh, route from one direction to the other direction am i right yes sir so how it does it does by identifying the position of the object how in the car's gps also there is utilization of the inertial sensor so what exactly it does inertial sensor used to provide the information about the position of the object they are attached to so the way your object moves okay the way object the way your object moves the capturing the motion of your object for that purpose there is utilization of the inertial sensor so if it is fitted to the human being also the motion of the human being also can capture with the help of the inertial sensor so inertial sensors are also used to track the human motion okay the blind person asta baka blind person tar tyancha madhe sudha apan inertial sensor we can fit and we can track the motion of that blind person if they are going outside the home is it possible yes or no yes so this uh, this this particular sensor as i am saying it is utilized for the purpose of capturing the motion of the object and accordingly uh, we can get the locations with the help, with the help of the gps the way our object goes on moving from one location to the another location and inertial sensor used to detect all these kind of things so there are the two important components used to be there in the inertial sensor one is the accelerometer one component is the accelerometer which measure the acceleration of the object acceleration of the object in the sense speed of the object okay one component is the accelerometer which which measure what speed of the object barobar na tumhi gps var location set keli tar automatically tumcha distance jar tumhi right direction ne jata asal tar distance tumcha automatically kami kami hot jato am i right or not yes yes sir barobar na कारण डिटेक्ट कर काम को इनर्शियल से कंपोनट एक्सोलोरेमीटर विच मेजर द स्पीड ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट ओके एंड अनदर इम्पॉर्टंट कंपोनट इज दियर दैट इज द गायरोस्को विच मेजर द एंगुलर वेलासिटी और द रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ सेंसर ओरिएंटेशन मग सपोज आता तुम्हें आता तुम्हारा का लोकेशन लुमला लोकेशन लाइचे Uh, yeah, uh, I hope you are. You can observe this. You are at this location, and you have to go to this location. Okay, and uh, your GPS has shown you the direction like this. Okay, that you can follow this direction to reach to. Ki ya ya gawala tumal jai se this uh, village you have to reach from this village. Borobar, tumi GPS or location set kili. It goes on you showing this direction. Pun. काही तरी प्रॉब्लेम झाला सम युअर समथिंग प्रॉब्लेम ऑकर्स तुम्ही ह्या डायरेक्शनला न जाता तुम्ही ही डायरेक्शन घेतली काय इन्स्टेड ऑफ गोइंग इन दिस डायरेक्शन यू गोज ऑन दिस डायरेक्शन देन ऑटोमॅटिकली युअर जीपीएस गिव्ह यू द नोटिफिकेशन दॅट यू आर गोइंग इन द रॉंग डायरेक्शन युअर मॅप गिव्ह यू द नोटिफिकेशन दॅट यू आर गोइंग द रॉंग डायरेक्शन येस ऑर नो येस सर how this happen this is happen with the help of the gyroscope because gyroscope determine what gyroscope determine the orientation orientation in the sense what do you mean by the orientation the direction in which you are moving the direction in which the object is moving that is the referred as a orientation understood yes sir so with the help of these two components the our inertial sensors are working and this kind of inertial sensor can be utilized in the robots also okay 
now uh, so next important we have which also number of times every day we are experiencing this kind of sensor that is the infrared sensors what infrared sensor so infrared sensor utilizes the infrared light to sense the object in front of them and determine their distance so can you tell me where we are having the infrared sensors in our everyday utilization yes mm -hmm. which is being utilized mostly in this lockdown period also temperature measure karat nahi ka sir apan infrared sensor ne रिमोट मध्ये यूज करतो सर वेरी गुड रिमोट मध्ये तुमच्या कोणतं सेंसर असतं इन्फ्रारेड सेंसर इन्फ्रारेड सेंसर अंडरस्टूड दैट्स हियर आई हैव मेंशन इन्फ्रारेड सेंसर यू टू यूजेस द इन्फ्रारेड लाइट टू सेंस द ऑब्जेक्ट इन फ्रंट ऑफ देन एंड गेज देयर डिस्टेंस मेजर देयर डिस्टेंस सो दीस इन्फ्रारेड सेंसर्स कॉमनली हैव द टू ब्लैक सर्कल्स और द कंपोनेंट्स व्हिच आर यूटिलाइज्ड व्हिच आर बीइंग कंसीडर्ड एज अ two components being there in the infrared sensor which are being referred as a emitter and the detector what emitter and the detector okay so a pulse of the infrared light is emitted from the emitter and spread out in the large arc if no object is detected then infrared light continue forever and no reading is recorded forever so when you are having your tv like this okay and there a uh, set top box and you can use to operate that from this distance okay so this is your uh, remote for example so this this is your remote is being considered as a emitter here and uh, if this remote is having the two components emitter and the detector okay so as soon as you press some button okay all of you are there so we are discussing the remote control with its uh, uh, infrared sensor and the two important component that are the emitter and the detector detector so this infra it is a remote control with the infrared sensor is having the two component one is the emitter and the another is the detector so as soon as you press the button by keeping that remote control in front of your set of box the infrared light get emitted so as soon as you detect some object here as a for example set top box then from that the infrared light get reflected back okay and it is detected by another component of remote control that is which detector understood and in this way signal passing carries on okay in this way the signal passing carries on okay so if the object is here i have mentioned if the object is nearby then the infrared light will be reflected and some of it will be hit the detector so this particular part that i have just shown you it forms a simple triangle triangle between the objects like your set of box your emitter and the detector so detector is able to detect the angle that infrared light are out back and thus it can determine the distance to the object so basically in case of the robot the infrared sensor are used to determine the distance to the uh, different kind of objects so here we have discussed the utilization of the infrared sensor in case of the remote control and with the set top box etc etc so similarly in case of the robot these infrared sensor are utilized for the purpose of detecting the distance so these infrared sensors are also having some limitations that you must have experience also it has a quite small range Yes or no? जर तुम्ही टीव्हीचा रिमोट कंट्रोल थोडा लांब डिस्टन्स वरून ऑपरेट करण्याचा प्रयत्न केला तर चॅनल चेंज होतात का बघा यू मस्ट हॅव एक्सपिरियन्स दिस थिंग्स होतात का चेंज चॅनल्स येस नो सो दॅट इज दर आय मेन्शन इट हॅज क्वाइट स्मॉल रेंज अँड इट कॅनॉट पेनिट्रेट द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑर द ऑब्स्टॅकल ऑल्सो 
स्पॉट इट कॅनॉट पिडेट द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑर दर तुम्ही रिमोटच्या समोर असा हात जरी ठेवला आणि चॅनल चेंज करण्याचा प्रयत्न केला तरी सुद्धा चॅनल चेंज होत नाही करेक्ट ऑर नॉट सर सो दिज आर द डिफरंट काइंड ऑफ लिमिटेशन आर ऑल्सो दिअर इन केस ऑफ द इन्फ्रारेड सेन्सर्स लेट सी दर नेक्स्ट इम्पॉर्टंट वन विच रिलेटेड विथ सम बॅकग्राऊंड ऑलरेडी येस्टडे वी हॅव डिस्कस दॅट इज द सोनार सो इट इट स्टँड फॉर द साऊंड नेव्हिगेशन अँड द रेंजिंग ओके साऊंड नेव्हिगेशन अँड द रेंजिंग सो दिस डिव्हाइस इज ऑल्सो बिंग युटिलाइज फॉर द डिटेक्शन ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ द ऑब्स्टॅकल ऍज वेल ऍज टू डिटरमाइन द डिस्टन्स ऑल्सो so here i have mentioned it is a technical device which is used for the sound propagation usually under the water to navigate communicate with the other objects and detect the objects under the water or on the surface of the water also okay so it consists of the so this uh, sonar uh, device consists of the also the two uh, components in that that is one is the active sonar component and another is the passive sonar component. so how actually it uh, perform its activity so the active sonar emit the pulses of the sound what it emit the pulses of the sound as well as it is capable to listening the echoes of the sound also okay that is the active sonar component of the uh, sonar device and passive sonar which is essentially listening for the sound made by the vessels vessels means what yes vessels vessels marathi madhe vessels la apan bhande mhanto bhande pan ithe bhande cha asa awaz nahi a meaning ne apan we can don't take the meaning of like this this word is taken here because one one vessel one vessel uh, touch with the another vessel sound generates yes or no yes sir tar passive sonar cha work kay hai ki it can listen sound generated by if the two objects hit with each other then with the help of the passive sonar this sound can be listen so just i said basically in case of the ships if some object hit with the ship then that also get easily detected with the help of the passive sonar okay and so here to one, if you can see these two components one is used to emit the pulses of sound whether another component can uh, is responsible for listening for the sound understood so with the help of these two component the sonar device uh, actually works okay so so there is a utilization of the acoustic frequency as i told you acoustic in this is related with the sound okay so in case of the sonar device acoustic frequencies are used in the sonar system where that acoustic frequency can be ranged from the low that low acoustic frequency is referred as the infrasonic where the acoustic frequency can be very high if the acoustic frequency is very high that is considered as a ultrasonic okay now this is the utilization of the sonar in case of the ship or the dock etc etc but now what we have to discuss how this sonar works in case of the robotics or in case of the robot now all of you know the robot is having the microcontroller with them number of times i told you the micro difference between the microcontroller and the microprocessor okay robot is having the microcontroller with them and this microcontroller gives instruction to the sonar what this microcontroller give instruction sonar to go go in the sense to uh, activate okay and when the microcontroller instructs the sonar to go or to activate the sonar device release the inaudible sound inaudible means this sound cannot be heard this ca sound cannot be heard so the sonar release the sound okay and some after passing some time the sonar also responsible for listening to the echoes also returning sound can also be heard by the sonar so when the echo can be heard yes when the echo can be heard when this release sound will hit with some object or the obstacle correct or not 
Yes, sir. And this echo can be listened by sonar. Okay. And then next, what happened? Let's see. So the sonar then instantly send a voltage voltage signal to the microcontroller. So after now uh, here after detection of the echo is done by the sonar, then this sonar send the signal to whom microcontroller. Okay, microcontroller is present in the robot. So with the help of that, with the help of that signal, the robot maintain the track of the time which passes. And it compute the distance of the object detector, uh, distance of the object detector from the robot. मतलब जर इतन sound release आला, okay? हाँ sound कुटतरी कुटतरी जर object कुटतरी आसल तरला तला hit होना, hit जालन अंतर echo will be returned back, understood? मग हाँ sound release जाले अंतर echo ये परिंत कितनी time pass जाला? How much time has passed from releasing of the sound up till the echo coming back? to the robot so from that time passing passing of the time the distance of the object can be measured yes or no yes sir so that purpose in this way in case of the robots the sonar device get utilized okay now uh, next uh, importantly that is the Uh, radar we have now radar is also like the sonar only but there is the exact difference between the radar and the sonar where the sonar utilizes the sound waves where in case of the radar you can see it stands for the radio detecting and the ranging so radio uh, radar stands for the radio detecting and the ranging uh, system so it as compared with the sonar system radar system utilizes the radio waves where the sonar system utilizes the acoustic waves or the sound wave okay so here i have mentioned it is basically a here i have shown you the uh, radar system also for your understanding purpose so it is basically an electromagnetic system used to detect the location and distance of an object from the point where the radar is placed so radio waves can be released from this radar and from these the radar can determine certain location and distance of the object which might be present anywhere in the environment which might be present anywhere in the environment okay now radar is utilized in every kind of environment okay radar is utilized for in the air it is can be utilized on the land it can be utilized under the water etc etc anywhere can be the radar can be utilized okay so it works by radiating the radio wave energy into the space also and monitoring the echoes or the reflected signal from the object so its working style is just like the sonar it releases the radiate or it radiate the energy okay radio waves if that radio waves hit some object then the echo can come back and from that the radar can determine the location and detection of the object so operating frequency of radar is very much high as compared with the sonar okay that's why it is most popular as compared to the sonar so it operate in the ultra high frequency uh, it operates in the ultra ultra high and the microwave range of range of the 300 megahertz to the 3 gigahertz okay so that is the ultra high frequency where uh, radar can be utilized for the detection and location of the for detecting and the locating the objects so there are the various famous utilization of the or applications of the radars are here now question mostly being asked on the radar explain the radar radar system with the various kind of its application so most popularly radar being utilized in the military now tell me in the military how the radar can be a mostly useful you explain me yes radar in case of the military yes how the radar can be utilized in the military 
i told you the what exactly radar is for what purpose it is utilized it's a, a high frequency etc etc then tell me how it can be utilized in the military yes so come in the range hmm. chantanu saibaz hmm speak up quickly how the radar can be useful for the military purpose yes so searching something tracking and uh, give directions tracking to whom searching whom detecting whom if some 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 vehicles coming from uh, coming or crossing the border from another country that can also be detected with the help of the radars in case of the army uh, border protection yes yes sir so likewise in the just like i said in case of the on the ground army border protection radar can be utilized here i am using the radar electromagnetic sensor are used for detecting locating tracking recognizing the objects of various kind at the considerable distance so not to detect just the vehicle on the ground but radar can be also utilized in the navy also on the ground also as well as in the air defense also understood so in the uh, on the water also uh, we can have the radar where it can determine if somebody others country ship is coming in our country then that can be also detected by the radar on the ground different vehicles which are running on the ground if that vehicles of other country opponent country uh, that can that kind of things can also be detected by detected by the radar if somebody is trying to cross the border that kind of things can also be detected with the help of the radar in the air defense also radar can be utilized if somebody another airplane is crossing their uh, aerial border and try to come in our country this kind of things also detected by the radar so here i have mentioned they are used for the detecting tracking surveillance purpose also weapon control and missile guiding also can be done with the help of the radar sir कुठल्या तरी एका लोकेशनला मिसाईल आपल्याला लॉन्च करायचं असेल इफ म्हणजे आपलं इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एक्सप्लोर द मिसाईल ऍट सर्टन लोकेशन देन दॅट डायरेक्शन गायडिंग द डायरेक्शन कॅन ऑल्सो बी डन विथ द हेल्प ऑफ द रडार सिस्टीम ओके सो मिसाईल गायडन्स कॅन बी डन विथ द हेल्प ऑफ द रडार सिस्टीम देन लॉ एन्फोर्समेंट लॉ एन्फोर्समेंट म्हणजे काय दिस कॅन बी युटिलाईज बाय द पोलीस ऑल्सो स्पेसिफिकली traffic police so with the help of the radar it can it is possible to measure the speed of the vehicle what in the us uk you must have seen in the hollywood movies also if the bike is moving on the road very fastly automatically its speed get detected by the traffic police and at that instant only traffic police start following that vehicle yes or no yes automatic speed detection yes, automatic speed detection can be done with the help of the radar so speed uh, traffic management can be done with the help of the radar that's why it is being mentioned for the law enforcement here i have mentioned 
due to bad weather condition when the satellite is unable to get clear image of the traffic barricades the radar is used to get the desired result then next we have the radar system can be utilized in the space also to talk the mic who is mic is on okay radar uh, this technology can be utilized in the space also okay so radar used to track the and detect the satellites and the spacecraft spacecraft means what antaryan barobar apan chandrayaan 2 moim chandrayaan 2 apan space we have seen seen that spacecraft in the moon tar mag ja ves tachi movement hot hote how long it is traveling what is the distance etc etc what is exact its position this all the kind of things where exactly satellite is what is its location these all the kind of things can be detected or tracked with the help of the radars okay so uh, here also i have mentioned they are used for the safely landing and docking for the spacecraft spacecraft cha landing sathi sudha uh, radar can be utilized ki whether the spacecraft should land on the some the weather space cap should be land on the space or not how much distance has remain between the space craft and the space these all the kind of things can be detected with the help of the radar system okay now also it is being utilized in the aircraft navigation also airplane la disha nirdeshan karne sathi sudha there is a utilization of the radar system so ground mapping radars and weather avoidance radars are used in the uh, aircraft to navigate it properly to show the direction to the airplanes and the planes there is the utilization of the radar system so this technology enable the aircraft to ensure the location of the obstacle which can be threat to the fly flight plane here i wish mention the plane okay so if any obstacle is there in front of the plane that can be easily detected with the help of the radar system and as i said radar being not just utilized on the ground it is utilized on the water and air also so it is here use of the radar in the ships also can be done okay so ships are guided through the high resolution radar situated on the shore so manje samudra cha kinare var apan radar launch install karu shakto we can have the radar system on the edge of the sea shore in the sense edge kinara okay and because of the poor visibility in the weather condition radar provides you the safety and the warning threats the samudra madhe bhayankar apan kay mhanto tala tide and the ebb bharti ot tar he if this early detection of these things can be done with the help of the radar system तुम्ही वेदर कंडिशन रिपोर्ट बगत असताल बघा टीव्ही वर ती सांगतात की उद्या समुद्रामध्ये खूप मोठ्या लाटा येण्याची शक्यता आहे दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स आर माइट हॅपन इन द फ्युचर तर ह्या सगळ्या गोष्टी कशाच्या आधारे डिटेक्ट केल्या जातात थ्रू द रडार सिस्टीम व्हिच इज बीइंग सिच्युएटेड नियर द सी अंडरस्टूड सो दिस काइंड ऑफ सिस्टीम कॅन बी युटिलाइज कॅन बी हेल्पफुल फॉर द गाइडिंग द शिप्स आल्सो ओके and in case of the ships uh, this radar system can be utilized to determine the any obstacle in front of the ship also here i mention this ships often use this technology to measure the proximity of the other ships sir this is consider this as a one ship okay and there is a another ship tar ya don ship madhe kiti distance hai this kind of detection can also be done with the help of the radars so here i mentioned to measure the proximity of the other ship proximity manje kay he jar ya ship ani ya ship madhe kiti antar hai understood how much they are close to each other these things can be easily uh, detected with the help of the radars likewise there are the various other utilization of the radar applications are there most importantly we have covered which will be helpful for you in the exam understood all of you yes sir 
so that's it from the today's session remaining session will be covered next time thank you all of you thank you sir